In this lesson, I'm going to be talking about contact forces. What are contact forces? They are the forces you get whenever something material touches another thing. They can be between one solid and another, like normal force or friction, or they can be between a fluid and a solid, such as drag or air pressure or buoyancy. Now, these are not fundamental forces of nature like uh, electromagnetism or gravity. Uh, they're not going to tell us anything deep about the nature of space-time and the universe. So why are we studying them? It's because they're enormously practically useful they are around us all the time. As I stand here in front of the camera, there's a whole bunch of contact forces acting on me. There's air pressure pushing on my skin, allowing me to breathe and to talk. There's a normal force from the ground holding me up. There's friction, which means my clothes just don't just fall off me. So you really need to understand these forces to know everyday life, how things are going on. So they're very practically useful. Because they're not fundamental forces, they depend on incredibly complicated interactions between surfaces, which means you can't often write down a simple, elegant and perfectly accurate equation for them. Instead, we have messy experimental equations that kind of work, give us some idea of what's going on. It's the best we've got, but it's enough to get us a long way. Now, before we go any further, we're going to need a mathematical concept of work. Work is a way of calculating the energy needed to do something. And it's calculated as force times distance. So let's say, for example, I push this box along the table. The work done is equal to the force I'm applying times the distance I move. So applying a force of probably a newton or so over a distance of maybe 15 centimetres. If you apply a force but don't move, like I'm, say, leaning on this table, but I'm not moving, I'm applying a force to it, then there's no work. If someone threw this at me and I pushed to stop it, in that case, the direction of my force and the direction of motion are opposite, so the work is negative. Technically speaking, you calculate it by looking at the vector force and the vector motion and doing the dot product of the two, which is the strength of one times the strength of the other times the cosine of the angle between them. 